Hi guys, I'm Jim again, and what I'm going to do this time is talk to you about uh, storage and organization of video. Um, one thing that um, is true about video is that it uses a lot of memory, a lot of hard drive space. And once you start capturing 10 or 15 or 20 of these onto your hard drive, you're going to find that you're going to run out of room very quickly. Um, and what do you do with it? Well, the solution that I came up with was to go out and buy a external hard drive. Um, the one I use is um, this guy right here. It's a Seagate um, two terabyte um, hard, external hard drive. Um, got that for about $150. The real one is sitting right here. That was just the box. I'm not going to move it too much because it is certainly connected to my computer. I'm going to show you that um, in a second. But what I want to do is talk to you about what happens to this video once you get it captured. Um, if you don't have any way to get it off of your computer, then it sits there and sits there and then, you know, a couple years down the road, you know, maybe you have a computer crash or something like that and all of it's gone. So the reason I got an external hard drive is so that I can back these things up to the drive, unplug it when I'm not using it so that the hard drive isn't always spinning around and, and you know, potentially crashing. So um, I use it when I edit, I plug it in, I do my video editing, I put all the videos back onto that box, onto that hard drive, and um, go from there. So I encourage you to do the same thing. Um, there are certainly other methods you can use to back up your data. For instance, one um, like hour-long DV tapes, tape will fit on a dual-layer DVD, and I don't have one of those right here, but if you've got a dual-layer DVD burner, those will hold about eight gigs worth of uh, file space and you can use those to put the captured video onto those DVDs so that then you can go back and retrieve those later. And that certainly is a very good method because you don't have to worry about um, hard drive crashes or anything like that. Um, slowing you down and making you go back and recapture all those videos again at some other time. So anyway, that's that. Um, on my hard drive, what I did is I tried to um, organize these things in such a way, in such a way that um, they are very organized. And my intent was to use this drive only as a video drive. Um, when you have that kind of space on a hard drive, soon you find other ways to use it. And I'm having some operating system problems right now, so what I'm trying to do is move some things around and using that as sort of temporary file storage. But Soon it's going to be dedicated only to video and video files. Um, the way I went through and organized these is uh, just like this. I've got one, fo one folder for all of the DV captured tapes that I've got. I've got one folder for all of the flip video that I've got. And you can see these are fairly large folders. That's 87 gigs right there in that folder. And then I've got some Hi8. Um, which are the little bigger tapes. I had a question about um, tapes that are slightly bigger than um, this little DV tape. And the one that's slightly bigger, um, I should have one to show you, but I don't, is called Hi8. And those are the ones usually from older camcorders, but um, there are some that were made in the last couple of years that um, actually have the same format. So um, I've got these organized into three separate folders. And then I have a place where all of my projects go. So every time I create a new project, I'll put it in here, and then it can always find the reference files right next to it. Um, if you look inside, let's take a look inside some of these folders here. These are complete tapes. So if you look, this one is one complete tape. It's an hour and nine minutes in length, and it's 14.4 gigs on the hard drive. So in order for me to put that somewhere else other than a very large hard drive, um, such as the DVD that I was talking about earlier, we're going to have to cut it up into two pieces and then export it, um, which is a pretty pretty decent process. Um, you can also handle this in the um, capture um, process as well, meaning that you only capture the first half of the video and then go back and capture the second half. Um, but you can see that these are fairly large files and something that you want to um, just make sure that you can deal with once you get them onto your hard drive. So um, that's it for um, capturing and storage. I hope you join me next time and 
Um, if you haven't signed up yet, please do so at the link uh, below this video if you're watching this on YouTube. Otherwise, thanks for joining me. There's going to be some new stuff to come very shortly, and I'm making it next. Thanks.